I'm Nicholas Johnson. I'm holding the DJI Ronin SC, and this is the Space Warehouse. If you're trying to choose between the Ronin S and the Ronin SC like I was, they're basically the exact same thing, except this is 40% lighter, it's a little bit smaller, and it has these locking mechanisms where you can lock each movement of the gimbal to help with balancing, so you just have to worry about one thing at a time. It's 5 eighths the price, so this is only $450 or $550 if you get the focus wheel and the focus motor. It has a payload difference of 2 kilograms compared to 3.6 kilograms, which is 4.4 pounds compared to 7.9 pounds. Compared to no gimbal at all, either one of these things will make your footage look 400 times better, even if you have to look like a goober zooming around in public with a robot arm sticking out talking to your camera. The angle that you'll see anytime I'm holding this thing out is through a 16mm Sigma lens at 1.4 through the Sony Alpha A6600 that I'm using now. I had the Ronin S paired up with my Nikon D500 for one week before I decided that that thing is a little too heavy. It was just really uncomfortable. I didn't want to take it anywhere and it didn't pack up easy. Let's put this thing together though. It slides on there, locks in place, adds plus 10 handiness. I mean, that's really, that's really it. There's one riser. <laughs> lens, lens goes forward. Thing they have these. I think you really only have to do this one time and you set this little set screw and then now if you have to take it off and put it back on you just slam it against that set screw and it's going to be perfect. So this little connector thing into here and not a whole lot of cameras are supported. But this one is. I don't know if it'll just work or not. But it does! Three trigger presses. Selfie mode then you're now we're taking selfies if you hold the trigger it's going to keep the horizon where it was the difference is if you don't hold the trigger it's going to kind of follow your movement but make it smooth you start talking you find the good angle then you can let go of everything and it's just going to follow you around got my microphone in my pocket and it's going to make it smooth two presses of this trigger will reset it back to normal go check out what joey's doing I've been using it for all of five minutes now, and I think I got it, I think I figured it out. I think this might produce some of the best possible vlogging video. But I wanna see if I can move real fast and keep this like pretty smooth. <laughs> Just go that way. So just, just me walking around like this, I'm going to do a comparison with this gimbal, without this gimbal, um, and then I'm going to see if I can make Joey run around one more time. Okay, I'm going to go on that same walk, just holding the camera. I actually still have the, the mount thing for the stabilizer. It's actually really handy to hold on to. But here's selfie mode. I'm trying to be as smooth as I possibly can with my arm straight out, but just holding the camera. And this is a wide enough lens that this is probably totally fine. However, the A6600 has a little bit of a problem with um, shutter roll and even like the software shutter roll fix doesn't do a super good job of that. I'm gonna I'm gonna get Joey to run I'm gonna get Joey to run around one more time. Joe! Okay, this is gonna be me literally just hand holding this camera, same shot. You have to run the same way, Joey, in the front yard of the Space Design Warehouse. And anytime you're ready. I'm told the battery lasts for 11 hours. It charges with USB-C, so I mean you can charge it with your MacBook charger. The little port conveniently located right on the front here. Paired with the Ronin app, it gives you these 
modes and some of them I find to be let's talk about force mobile enable force mobile now anywhere I face my phone the camera is gonna follow it's cool but like well no now that I'm doing it Joey yeah. I need you to come over here. All right. This is Joey. I, Joey's gonna move around, Ooh. and I'm gonna be a cameraman. Do you want me to like move back? Yeah, like walk around. Like, well, like, well you don't have a lot of space, but like you know, actually, yeah. a. Oh no! Look at this is me. Like, oh, this is you. This is a. It's oh. using my phone's whatever's sure. gyroscope. I thought this would be stupid, but actually, it's smooth. Come really close to the camera for a second. God, in that focus, I'm telling you. Get out of the way. I'm telling the A66. That's what this is. A Alpha 6600. Sony Alpha. The, the facial following. Oh, I don't know what they call it. I'll put it on the screen. Is so good that it stays in focus so fast. I like it. I didn't think I was gonna like. Um, active track. So. <laughs> okay. I just told it that's Joey, and Joey go that way, but don't go super fast. Okay. So it's gonna track Joey. So if, jo if, if we have a team, then I can start it and I guess walk away. Joey could be showing something or talking about something and he could walk over there and then it'll follow him over there and he can talk about it over there and it'll keep Joey in the frame. Ooh. But the balance is so precarious because my phone, maybe it's just because I have a giant phone, but at least with the iPhone 10X Max or whatever that is, it's so heavy on top of the camera that like... If Joey were to like, I think, I'll bet if you duck down and come down close to the thing so it has to follow you downward, it's going to tip and then it's, oh, it is going to be, oh, yeah, it's not going to be strong enough. I don't know. Probably. All right, for the smartphone thing, I'm going to say that's a really cool feature and maybe if you have a tiny phone, it's a really good feature, but I just really don't, for me, that's not a useful thing at all. That's some of the Ronin SC, but I give it all the star, I give it every star because, uh, because I don't know any better, as I haven't used the Zahuhaka crane, um, but I've heard that's a lot harder to set up. I, now that I've only done it four times, I can already balance this thing in 20 seconds, and that's great. So with all these locks, so that's that's what everybody's raving about. You you can turn it off. It's pretty balanced, so it's not going to like drop down. That's cool. But you lock this, you lock this, and there's a third one, but I don't remember where. You lock this. And it's gonna click into place and now the thing is just like it's not clanking around and you can just carry it and walk away like I'm gonna do for the end of this video.